Hey, what is going on guys? Expert Fusion here and Black Ops 2 has become backwards compatible on Xbox One just yesterday and a lot of people they were kind of saying, you know, why is this a big deal? Why does this matter? It's not updated whatsoever. It's just the same game with updated graphics. And I agree. But the reason why a lot of people like it, it's mainly the people who either don't have a 360 anymore and still have the disc so they can now play it. Or they just want all their Call of Duty games on one console. They don't want to have to be like, alright, i got to go to 360 now to play on uh, Black Ops 2 or whatever. They can just play it all on one console and it's nice and easy. Obviously, if you're a PS4 player or PC player, this is not going to matter to you whatsoever. But for Xbox players, it's a huge, huge deal because we finally get to just play all the Call of Duties on one console. Obviously, we don't have every Call of Duty. The only Call of Duties that are not on Xbox One, whether it be backwards compatible, remastered, or just made on Xbox itself, the only Call of Duty that is not, in fact, um, on Xbox One would be Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. So, I still, like, I don't know. I'm really on the fence whether or not they're going to remaster a Call of Duty this year. I really want them to, but I don't, they, they don't need to, you know? They needed to for Infinite Warfare because Infinite Warfare did get a lot of hate and they knew there was going to be less sales and they knew the only way they would get more sales is by giving us Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And since this game's World War II, are they going to need it? I don't know. That's the thing. And I'm really nervous that they're not going to give us a remastered Call of Duty this year. And that they're just going to slowly turn Modern Warfare Remastered into Modern Warfare 2 by adding Modern Warfare 2 maps, by adding Modern Warfare 2 guns. I mean, they've already added some guns that are kind of Modern Warfare 2-ish, like the ACR. Um, they're going to probably make maybe added kill streaks to that game. And I honestly don't want them to do that. I want them to remaster each Call of Duty separately in its own game. I don't want them to you know, try to make Modern Warfare remastered into Modern Warfare 1 and 2 and 3 all in one game. Whether, I mean, I wouldn't 100% mind that, but at the same time, it would be like, I don't know. It would just it would just take away. I mean, I really would like them to just remaster Modern Warfare 2 on its own, in its own game itself, with everything that's in it, in one separate game, separate from Modern Warfare Remastered, because I want the game to be similar. I mean, everyone's complaining about the manning supply drops and all that, and I'm going to have to tell you, I, I don't mind that at all. But... Getting off topic now, let's talk about Black Ops 2. So, why is everyone freaking out? Well, Black Ops 2 is, in my opinion, and in a lot of other people's opinion, the best Call of Duty of all time. I mean, it is just the most balanced, the most fun, in every way, shape, and form. Not just in multiplayer. I'm talking campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. Campaign was amazing in this game. It was a great sequel to Black Ops 1 and let you do choosing of um, different choices that you can make and it also went back into the past it didn't just have missions in the future it also had missions in the past and they all you know connected all the storylines together Menendez was a very good villain very well developed very interesting and it was overall a fun campaign like I would play that campaign again and again and again multiplayer no different, very fun, awesome streaks, probably the best streak system we've ever had in any Call of Duty game ever. Um, great maps, I mean, fuck, you have Raid, Standoff, Hijacked, Slums, uh, Grind, there's just Nuketown coming back. I mean, there's just so many great maps that this game has. Um, the guns, you got the AA-94, the MSMC, MP7, Type uh, 95, the M8A1, there's just so many great iconic guns in this game that we fucking love and and are just using I look at the sniper rifles dsr and the ballistia probably the two most loved sniper rifles in call of duty history right but right in front of intervention I, actually i don't know people might say intervention is better but intervention also is one of them and i don't know man this call of duty it's just that fucking good i mean it really really is and then we also have zombies which a lot of people it's weird because Zombies only has like really two amazing maps. They have Mob of the Dead and Origins, two probably best maps in Call of Duty Zombies history. But then the other maps are all like either meh or pretty bad. Like Transit's pretty bad, Die Rise is meh, Buried's okay but a little easy. But it's still the best Zombies experience ever because we have the most stuff to do. We have all the side modes, we have Grief, we have Turned, we have all the little small maps like Nuketown and Town and Farm and Busty Boat. And you can play Grief on Mob of the Dead, you can play 
You could play that on Buried. You could play, you know, so many Easter eggs to do. There's so many side quests on the map. So many new perks. So many new guns. Just, just so much to do in Black Ops 2 Zombies that I think it's the best Zombies experience we've ever had. Better than Black Ops 1. Better than Black Ops 3. Better than World of War. Honestly. Even though if I were to count all the maps in Black Ops 1 and all the maps in Black Ops 2, I would say there's more good maps in Black Ops 1 than Black Ops 2. But Black Ops 2 as an overall experience, I think was better. And even Black Ops 3, I mean, I can count more maps. I mean, Black Ops 3, I think every map was good except for, like, Zetsubo. And, yeah, basically. And Revelations was good. It was just kind of a disappointment. But it's still a lot more better maps than Black Ops 2. Yeah, I still think Black Ops 2 had a better overall experience than Black Ops 3. Which is, is a lot, there's a lot more to do. And I think Black Ops 2, like, I want it to be the best Call of Duty for a while. But I hope World War II can overpass it. I, I, I got that feeling, man. I just got that feeling that World War II is going to be, like, the best Call of Duty of all time. I mean, I did I said that for so many Call of Duties. I said I thought Advanced Warfare was going to be the best Call of Duty of all No, no, starting with Ghosts, I thought Ghosts was going to be the best Call of Duty of all time. I mean, I did enjoy Ghosts, but it wasn't obviously my favorite. Uh, Advanced Warfare, I thought, was going to be one of the best of all time, and it wasn't my favorite. Uh, Black Ops 3, I thought was going to be the best. I was like 100% on Black Ops 3. I was like, okay, this is going to be Black Ops 2, but better. But it was Black Ops 2, but a little bit worse. Um, so that was a little disappointing. Infinite Warfare, I didn't expect to be better than any of these Call of Duties. Even though I do enjoy Infinite Warfare, I didn't expect it to be better than Black Ops 2. But for some reason, World War 2, I just, I don't know. I got that feeling, and I really hope it is. But if not, maybe the next Cherik game will surpass it or at least eventually a game will surpass black ops 2 because it's been the best call of duty for a couple of years now in my opinion and i think it's gonna be like that for could be like that for a while for all we know i don't know hopefully they remaster new call of duties hopefully they remaster mono for 2 mono for 3 so we get all call of duties on xbox one and i don't have to worry about going 360 anymore so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in my next one peace out